sorry. Um, and now I'm gonna have a one pair of Salmon Gore Go T-Rex shoes, uh, which I've been using for a year and a half now, and I've run several runs with it, so it's really good. My sh shoes have actually inbuilt into my feet, so they're really good. And the second pair of shoes, which I'm gonna use, a cheaper version of Decathlon, a 10 pound shoes, uh, which if they run out, I can throw them off and they can use this, but I'm gonna keep this as a second pair in my bag. And basically that's it, that's all the, and I've got some energy gels, uh, just to keep me going, and I've got my spoon, and I've got my ultralight um, camping stove kit, which I can use it, burn it on, and I've got some match sticks, and midgey spray, my mug, and uh, some water, and some rice, where you can just add water to it and you can eat it, some soup, coffee, chocolate, uh, ibuprofen, paracetamol, poncho, uh, some bandages, a bungee, yeah, that's it. And I've got my food packed here in my dry bag, some socks, underwears, and an extra clothes. Um, if I have to change it, extra clothes in here. And the last day's train baggage and everything. And I've got my wallet somewhere lying around. So once I pack everything, I'll come back and attach the other video. I can show you. Really? So finally, this is all packed and wrapped. And I've put my rain cover on it so it covers and protects my bag and everything inside of it. And I've got my camel pack tube so I can actually drink my juice. And I've got my hat, compass, map, everything kitted. I just have to put my dress on and my jacket somewhere lying around there. So that's all kitted and packed. So it's about 16 kilograms. So lighter weight, 60 to 20, that's the recommendable weight. And by the day goes by, on the second day, your weight goes down because you're gonna eat your food. I'm gonna go down and eat your energy bars and always try to keep yourself wet, uh, dry and protect yourself from wind and storms and everything. Basically, use your common sense and maps, you'll be fine. Good luck. And I'll keep you posted with all my Western and Bay trip and my details and I'll let you know how it went once I reach the end. Cheers, bye.